we don't have kids yet, so we're always looking at other parents. We're always looking how other people are are conducting themselves with their kids. And uh, you know, one of the things that we always say is, "Oh, we we want to be like Jamie and Ernie," you know, because they are such a great team and they have such a clear vision on discipline and how to show their kids that they love them and care care about them without, you know, uh, stifling them. I guess. I met Ernie, and then, you know, pretty soon we decided to have kids, and then that's when we started talking about adopting. And so it was pretty much from, from the very beginning that we've been together that we've decided that that was something that we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. but I think even when I was a little kid, I knew that there were lots of little kids that didn't have mommies and daddies. They don't have the Americans with Disabilities Act, you know, because they're not Americans. So they don't have ways to get on trains, to get into apartments. They don't have elevators that are big enough for wheelchairs. There are no ramps into restaurants. Um, and I just thought, man, this, this little kid's really going to get the short end of the stick where she's at. And I spoke to Ernie about it, and he was like, no, you know, we, that's not something that we can do. That's, you know, more than I can, I think, that I can take on. Then as, as time progressed, it was like, well, maybe... Maybe we can do that, you know, maybe we'll be able to take um, take care of that. We had all the funds for this, we we had the heart to do it, we already kind of had an idea of what they were going to want and um, how long it would take. We got travel dates for the day after Thanksgiving and I was like, okay, I think this is really going to happen. We got to Ukraine and we went and accepted our referral and get off the train in Donetsk and then directly to the orphanage, like, now, now, now. And so. It, I think it was really overwhelming for me because I thought we were going to have time to kind of sit and be like, okay, we're going to meet our kid today and like comb my hair and you know, get presentable and we didn't and we went straight to the orphanage, straight to the director and then to the pediatrician and then they handed us Sandy and that was, that was all she wrote and at that point I don't really think it mattered, like love at first sight for me and, and I know it was for Ernie. That dream became a reality at that point. We knew that when we met her, She's ours. It was like you, you could look at her and I knew she was meant for us. She's sad, she's got somebody to hug her. She's got brothers that want to teach her to do bad stuff, I'm sure, like <laughs> how they can get snacks out and not go to bed when she's supposed to or whatever the case may be. But I think most of all, I'm just looking forward to her being home where she knows that she belongs here with us and that we love her and we loved her before we met her. We're gonna be there for everything she does for the first time from the first time she gets on an airplane, for the first time she gets on a train, the first time she sees animals that she may have only seen pictures of in a book, uh, to seeing our dogs for the first time. Things that we take for granted each and every day of our lives uh, are gonna be a first for her. And she's only two years old. That little girl just won the parent lottery. She may not know it for a while, she may not fully grasp it, but uh, you know, that one little girl is, is gonna have a fantastic life. We found our little girl. <laughs>